Calls for one of the most talked about recessions in history are starting to recede. Bank of America now sees the Fed's interest rate hike ending in a quote, soft landing. When the economy is in trouble, it can hurt a lot of things. We need to act fast and find smart ways to deal with the problems and protect jobs and businesses. It's a tough time that needs careful planning and quick decisions. How will we manage this challenge and keep the economy safe? Only time will tell if our plans will work and if they can help soften the impact. The recent findings from the Federal Reserve present a troubling scenario, revealing that the majority of Americans, particularly the bottom 80%, have significantly depleted their pandemic savings, leaving them with less cash on hand than before the pandemic struck. While savings soared to their peak in 2021, they have since plummeted, especially among the bottom two-fifths of earners, who now face an 8% reduction in their savings compared to pre-pandemic levels. In stark contrast, the top 20% experienced an 8% increase in their savings over the same period. This glaring contrast in savings levels underscores the widening wealth disparity, underscoring its far-reaching implications for the overall economy. The data underscores the pressing need for targeted policies and initiatives aimed at bridging the financial gap and fostering a more equitable distribution of wealth. Without effective measures in place, the financial security of a significant portion of the American population remains in jeopardy, perpetuating socioeconomic inequalities and hindering sustainable long-term economic growth. The economic landscape in the United States is currently grappling with the effects of a notable surge in interest rates, which have triggered a widespread increase in borrowing costs. For instance, the average rate for a 30-year fixed mortgage has recently hit a staggering peak not seen since November 2000, hovering at approximately 7.5%. This sharp escalation in interest rates has placed substantial pressure on borrowers especially those in pursuit of mortgages or loans for diverse financial needs. The mounting costs of borrowing are creating financial hurdles for both individuals and businesses, potentially leading to constraints on investments and overall spending. Beyond its impact on the housing sector, the ripple effects of these mounting rates are resonating across various segments of the economy, influencing consumer behaviors and market dynamics at large. To address the challenges stemming from these escalating borrowing costs, it is imperative for policymakers to implement strategic measures and interventions that can alleviate the adverse consequences and foster a more stable and sustainable economic climate. Serious concerns are arising about the state of the U.S. economy as several key factors are aligning to suggest the possibility of an impending recession. The resumption of student loan repayments, the rapid escalation of interest rates, and the gradual depletion of COVID stimulus funds, which are being spent at an alarming rate of $100 billion per month, are all contributing to mounting financial pressure on households and potential constraints on consumer spending. Additionally, the decreasing ratio of available jobs to job seekers, coupled with a noticeable decline in inflated prices, further indicate a potential economic slowdown on the horizon. In response to these developments, it is crucial for policymakers and stakeholders to take proactive steps to soften the impact of a potential recession and bolster the resilience of the economic system. A comprehensive understanding of the interconnected nature of these variables is vital for the implementation of targeted interventions that can mitigate the adverse effects and pave the way for a more sustainable and inclusive economic recovery. As folks are chatting about a possible recession and what it might mean for people's bank accounts, some of them are pointing fingers at the government. They're saying the government is too focused on giving a helping hand to those big corporations and the stock market. And you know what? They're worried that this could make things even more unfair for the younger generation, making it extra tough for them to save up some dough. These people, they're speaking up about the need for the government to play it fair and square, not just look out for the fat cats. They really want the government to come up with plans that don't just patch things up for now, but also make them better for everyone in the long haul. They're crossing their fingers, hoping the government starts thinking real hard about what might happen if they keep doing things the same old way. They're really hoping for some smart moves that can set things right for all of us, not just a select few. Facing an economic downturn may seem daunting, but there are strategic measures one can take to weather the storm and even emerge stronger. 
The first step involves bolstering your financial defenses by building and maintaining a cash reserve. Having readily accessible funds can serve as a crucial safety net during challenging times, allowing you to cover expenses and seize strategic investment opportunities. Surprisingly, crises can birth opportunities for those with an entrepreneurial spirit. Amidst an economic downturn, new businesses often find unique niches and thrive, while individuals can use their resilience and adaptability to advance their careers. It's essential to resist the urge to sell off investments impulsively during a market downturn. Holding on to investments can be a strategic move, ensuring that you don't miss out on potential market rebounds and subsequent growth. Prudent financial management, such as avoiding the accumulation of debt, is vital for navigating through challenging economic times. By controlling your finances and minimizing additional debt, you can alleviate the burden that debt can pose during an economic crisis. Lastly, Diversifying your portfolio to include investments in precious metals like gold and silver can provide a stable and secure store of wealth. These assets are less vulnerable to market fluctuations and can serve as a reliable hedge against economic uncertainty. In 2023, the U.S. economy showed robust growth, with the real GDP expanding by almost 5% in the third quarter. This positive trend highlighted a strong economic performance throughout the year. Despite the encouraging job growth and increased consumer spending observed in 2023, forecasts for the upcoming year suggest a potential slowdown in economic activity. These projections have prompted discussions about the possible challenges that the economy might face in the near future. Surprisingly, the U.S. economy has demonstrated a lesser sensitivity to rising interest rates compared to previous expectations. This resilience can be attributed to the economy's shift from a manufacturing-focused structure to one driven more by service-based industries. Moreover, the increased use of advanced tools for managing interest rate risks has contributed to this improved resilience. Although rising interest rates have had a more pronounced impact on asset markets like equities and bonds, their direct effect on the real economy has been relatively moderate. Looking ahead to 2024, experts anticipate various challenges that could potentially slow down economic growth. These challenges include the impact of high mortgage rates, reduced investments by businesses, and a greater emphasis on implementing cost-cutting measures to sustain profit margins. Furthermore, both fiscal and monetary policies are expected to adopt a more restrictive stance, which could contribute to the deceleration of economic growth. Right now, the economy is a mix of good and not-so-good things. We see some growth, but there are also problems coming up. The latest information shows that we need to make specific plans to help everyone have a fair share of resources. We also need to act fast to minimize the impact of the upcoming economic issues. It's important for decision makers to find a good balance, focusing on making things stable for the long term and making sure everyone can benefit. This way, we can build a stronger and more stable economy that helps everyone do well. Understanding the ever-evolving economy calls for a thoughtful approach that prioritizes the welfare of everyone. By fostering an inclusive and equitable economic landscape, we can lay the foundation for a robust and sustainable future. Join us as we delve deeper into the intricacies of global economic dynamics, offering insightful discussions and valuable insights. Don't forget to show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more enriching content that aims to keep you informed and engaged. Together, let's explore the path to a more prosperous and equitable economic future for all.